Let's talk just for a second about uh, grammar schools. It looks like uh, now when the Tories came into power, they uh, they passed legislation that banned uh, adding any more grammar schools. But it looks like there was a secret memo that was leaked this week. Don't you love it when those secret memos secret get memo. leaked? I love the leaked yeah, memos. calling now for more of them to be established. Now, explain <clears throat> because the definition of grammar school mm -hmm. to our American listeners is the same as prime, yeah. what we call primary school, okay. but it's not. We had a situation where... Uh, and well, what are grammar schools? Gra okay, grammar schools. Okay. okay, and uh, grammar schools were meant to filter out the best and the brightest of the um, kids, basically, at the age of 11. So the thick ones would go to secondary moderns and the brighter ones would go to grammar schools, right? Which would lead them to university. Which would lead them to university. Yeah. Uh, but grammar schools technically, or there are some, uh, but technically there aren't any, there isn't any selection. So they are comprehensive schools now at 11, mm -hmm. between, you know, secondary moderns and grammar schools have merged, and it took years and years and years, uh, you know, 60s and 70s basically. And Theresa May, in England anyway, uh, wants to bring them back or wants to kind of have more of them because she believes that, you know, it's a path to success if the best and the brightest are selected to go to grammar schools. And uh, teaching is good, in, has been good in grammar schools. Well, it would be the same as, as a magnet school, for example, yeah. in, the, in the USA. But yeah, magnet um, schools, part, yeah. of the, part of the problem is, is that there's a perception that it is exclusionary in nature and not yes. a level playing field for those who come from a more deprived background. Yeah, and, and also you're talking mm -hmm. about a tiny, tiny numbers because the vast majority, I think it's 95% or over that, go to comprehensive. So you're talking about a tiny majority, uh, minority, and you know, concentrate on all these, uh, concentrate on these, this tiny minority, Bad the effects the vast majority that go on to have a normal education in comprehensive schools and all the rest of it. All the figures show that their education is affected badly by filtering out the better ones, supposedly better ones, uh, at 11. And anyway, you know, how can you tell at the age of 11 how good a child is going to be? Age of 11. My, my kids are, are, are grappling with things like, you know, what their concentration is going to be for their GCSEs. And I keep telling them, look, uh, I had no idea even today what I want to do, and I'm almost 59 years old. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you could, you, could change, you could change your path at any given time along that pathway. Yeah, and the exactly. idea that a, that a 15 year old knows exactly what they want to be for the rest of their life totally is agree. I mean, very it's, British and oh, very ridiculous. It, it is. It's just a throwback, isn't it, it to is. the 40s and 50s, you it know, is. when things are set, supposedly set in stone at the age of 11 and didn't change then, really. Well, they, your your path but, but, in life... But those were the set. times when you died at age 40, so you're... Well, you, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah I mean, your, your path Things have moved on. I would like to think so, anyways.